Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. On this one, we're in Deep Agent by Abacus AI, and what can I say, they have cooked. Guys, I am gonna show you how to use their AI agent to do things like creating 3D graphs, 3D plots, rich filters, dynamic dashboards, interactive apps, absolutely anything you can imagine with an AI agent, this AI agent can do it. And here's the best part, you can do it with one prompt. We are going to one shot some incredible stuff. So join me in this video, let's take a look. All right, here we are, we're logged into Deep Agent. If you haven't logged in before, don't worry about it. I put a link in the description below, just click on it and get cooking. Now, the first thing you'll notice here, when I kind of scroll around here, is that they've already got some options pre-built for you. So if you want to do something like creating technical reports or a PowerPoint presentation, creating custom AI chatbots, I mean, it's got everything in here, guys. This is a true AI agent. I know a lot of people and a lot of companies say they've got an AI agent, but it's not really. Well, this is the real deal, guys. And I'm going to show you this. I've got a prompt here for you. I'm just going to paste it in here and just get a load of this. This is what we're going to do. You are a marine geospatial analysis agent. Yeah, I don't even know what that is, but you're that. We're going, we're going deep here, guys. Analyze seabed sonar scans, LIDAR-based bathymetric surveys, historical shipwreck metadata to detect underwater anomalies and possible shipwrecks. If you're an Indiana Jones or if you're a treasure hunter, even better here, guys. I'm going to read a little more to you just to show you just how much we can do with this deep age and apply detection methods like hue transforms, contour analysis, symmetry detection. And I've even gone ahead and said, hey, use the following public data sets to get sample representational uh, samples. Why am I showing you all that? Why am I telling you all that, guys? Because this is not just a, you know, an AI agent in name. This is the real deal. Here's what we're going to do next. Make a dashboard with rich data visualization charts and graphs containing seabed anomaly maps, generating 3D terrain maps. We're going to use seabed elevation data. We're going to highlight detected anomalies using geometric depressions or unnatural ridges. Is this sounding like a simple agent? Well, it's not here, guys. And we're also going to mark suspected shipwreck areas and annotate detection confidence. All right, that was a mouthful, guys. But the reason why I told you all that is because this AI agent can actually do this. I've gone ahead and hit enter. You read that I told you the prompt part of me. I'm going to come back in the next phase, show you what we got. And then I'm going to show you just some of the cool things that it cooks up for you. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and done some thinking and it's come up with four questions. Now, if I would have put in a bit more elaborate of a prompt in terms of like specifying some of these things, it probably wouldn't have asked me this, but let's just see what it's got here. So geographic focus area, analysis scope, output requirements, data processing scale. Okay, these are all good questions for this one. For the sake of brevity, I'm just gonna say you choose. Um, go, go big. <laughs> there we go. I've gone ahead and asked the deep agent, just go, hey guys, you know what? You pick what we're going to do here. You start the analysis. When I come back, I'll show you what we got. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right, everybody. So let's see what we got here. This again was done with one shot. This, I mean, I don't even know what to say here. Look at this here on the right side. Marine analysis, geospatial dashboard. That is not some black and white, ugly dashboard. This is beautiful. It's even got nice use of gradients in there. Look at this, detected anomalies, bathymetry points, 120,000, 120, known shipwrecks, seven shipwrecks. Okay, I'll go with that, confidence detection. And if we wanna go in further, cause I was talking about all those other different things you can do here. Let's go ahead and click on 3D seabed map. Here it is, map controls. Let's see what we got here. Loading the, th oh my God, what the hell? How did they even do this? I'll zoom in a bit here. You'll see here, you can move this around. And this again, guys, was done with one shot. We didn't even type in anything other than one prompt. And then we answered a couple of quick questions because it wanted to know what we were looking for. And then job done. So there we go. I mean, map controls, 3D seabed maps. I mean, performance analysis here. Look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. And then when we look up here, if we go back here, watch this. So here's what happened. So when we punched it in, I said, hey, you guys pick or you choose. Every one of these things here is a task or a command that it executed. There were two 
tasks and 98 subtasks. When you click on this here, here's what it's done. Here's the exact steps and the exact things that it's done. We'll go down here. You can click on every single one of them. Here's the first part of the dashboard. Here it is running, I guess, uh, pulling data. Guys, I mean, I don't know what to say except that this is Deep Agent. It is an absolutely outstanding AI agent. It can do things that I have not seen anything else do. This is the real deal, guys. I've put a link in the description below. Give it a try. It's going to blow your mind. It's worth a look. Thanks for watching.